as trees are losing their leaves for the winter, it's becoming a lot easier to spot mistletoe. The mistletoe looks like a big green globe of foliage growing in a deciduous tree. This plant is a hemiparasite, and what that means is that even though it's photosynthesizing, it has green leaves, it is taking water and some nutrients from the tree that it grows on. Uh, some people get concerned that it could harm the tree, and if there's a heavy infestation, it could cause branch pruning or stunted growth, but it may actually be what's called a keystone species. So some studies show that in forests where there's more mistletoe, there are higher diversity of animal species present. So the plant in the wintertime can provide cover and roosting spots for birds and food for a variety of animals. Birds spread the seeds. The seeds are super sticky. And so when they eat the berries or the fruits off of the plant, um, they may either have the seeds get stuck to their bill or they may excrete them. And then they stick to a branch and eventually grow into a mistletoe plant. And this plant is associated with Christmas traditions. Of course, um, we all know the tradition of kissing under the mistletoe, which apparently originated in Victorian England, but its use for um, as a symbol of fertility and power goes all the way back to the Druids. Uh, one warning, it is poisonous, or at least many of the species are, so don't eat the foliage or the berries. And I said more than one species. There's actually probably around a thousand species of mistletoe. So when we talk about mistletoe, we're talking about sort of a, a lifestyle of plants rather than a specific species. Um, this type of lifestyle actually evolved four different times in the plant kingdom, which I think is pretty neat.